And now the area's certified most accurate forecast. Your weather on the fives with meteorologist Jordan Lamers. Okay, it's 545. Let's get to that full forecast now. Here's your Storm Team 5 live camera in, in Oshkosh. Here's part of our Storm Team 5 Skyview network. You see not much going on here. Light winds, pretty calm start to the day, but it's rather mild. Look at Oshkosh, 30 degrees as we kick things off. 28 Wapaka and in Appleton right now. It's 23 Oconto and then lower 30s really spanning the lakeshore except for Sheboygan at 29. A mountain that cool spot at 18. Now, we do have southwest winds again today as we are traveling kind of on the back side of high pressure. And this will be a light wind today, southwest from 5 to 10 miles per hour into the afternoon. So that's a warmer direction for us. And you combine that with sunshine, and we get up to about 42 by the lunch hour. 47 once it's all said and done into the late afternoon, early evening with more sunshine than clouds. So here's our radar network right now. It's spinning around in Ashwaubenon and not picking up anything at all in terms of rain or snow. We have a few clouds out there on, on the satellite imagery, but we do have some flood concerns just yet. So it's the Little Wolf River and the Wolf River uh, by, let's say, Outagamie County and Wapaka County. Then you get the Manitowoc River and Sheboygan River uh, by Lake Michigan, and then the Fox River near Berlin and Princeton, which are still under that flood warning because of that water level is just over flood stage. Now, where there's moderate flooding uh, in red there, that's where the dot is. So that's the Manitowoc River and then also the Fox River. And then we have some reports of some minor flooding uh, by the Wolf River there in Wapaka County. So here's a radar network right now as we expand things out and look at the broader view. High pressure moving just to our south and that will actually bring in some return flow for us and that's warmer direction out of the southwest. See this little disturbance right there that continues to track south of us. There's another one up to the north in Canada then that, that dives south as we go into the day tomorrow. So that's going to wait a little bit until we have any increased cloud cover or chances of precipitation. Let's break it down here on Futurecast now. So you see the cloud cover out there sticks around till about midday. And then once we head into that afternoon and evening time frame later on as we go home from work, look at this, lots of sunshine out there. And then we maintain mostly clear skies through the good chunk of the evening. It's later tonight, 10 o'clock in there and after where we get increased cloud cover. We kick things off for the first day of spring tomorrow. Mostly cloudy skies, and with that disturbance comes a slight chance for some rain or snow. It's not going to be a total washout day, kind of a pesky chance as we roll through the day uh, tomorrow, but it looks like we'll be drying out again for Thursday. In the meantime, though, forecasted highs, mid and upper 40s, pretty common sight. We may touch a 50 degree reading if uh, we get enough sunshine in here building in for the afternoon. As far as our rain and snow chances go, Dry today for tomorrow. We're in the low category with that slight chance of rain and snow Thursday, Friday, Saturday looking beautiful. And then on Sunday, another chance for some showers that will be uh, later in the game, but really not a big rain chance for us in terms of how much rain we're going to get. Now for today, a mix of clouds and sunshine and highs in the 40s. Later tonight, we go from mostly clear to mostly cloudy and we drop into the 30s for lows. Here's your seven day forecast for tomorrow. A light mix of rain and snow in 43. Thursday, 50 degrees. Friday looking nice with mostly sunny skies in 48. Saturday is going to be the pick day of the week. Get outside and enjoy it. Highs will be about 56 in the afternoon. 